serious responsibility of each and every Zambian to protect a girl child and to protect our women from harassment. And also, we be able to speak to the bosses who like touching the breast of the women in order to exchange for a job opportunity. That is against the law. Job opportunities must be equal to men and girls, boys and boys, ladies and gents. We must provide equal opportunities. We cannot exchange for a job with sex, no. On merit, people must be employed. In schools, people must be enrolled. But when they are obtaining bursaries, girls and boys, we must give them equal opportunities. In fact, what we've done as a district, I want to appreciate the management of CBA. We've even increased the, the rolling capacity of the girls. We want to give them an opportunity also to enter a university education. So we, all those in the senior positions uh, and within the district, should I hear that uh, you are exchanging uh, uh, job opportunities with uh, uh, in kind to have sex and you demand for sex before you employ uh, young ladies who are looking for job opportunities. It will be a very sad story for you. So this is a honey that there are men who want to exchange sex with job opportunities. This should be the last time that we must treat women as equal partners and we must give them equal opportunities because they are also the important players in the economy of our, in the running of the economy of this country. The UN is supporting the government to establish those kind of fast track courts on GDP. Just that we have the RATSA court, um, track professors. We have realized that one of the factors that uh, causes people to withdraw cases is the idea of uh, being tired of waiting as to when they receive their justice. So we're hoping that this fast track course, once they start operating, people will be encouraged to report uh, knowing that they'll get their justice sooner than later. But also in the communities, there have been some uh, mechanisms set up to respond to GBV. We have the village led uh, one stop shops on, on GBV where you've got paralegals, you've got social counselors, and just how they report cases of GBV to the chiefs, how they work with other service providers, the health workers, the police, and so on and so forth. Uh, so here on this trip, we are visiting our friends at Trauma Healing Center here in Kilo because for us to learn more about what they are doing. So to hear from you probably just how is GBV and Kate, you know, how big an issue is it?